Hi everybody, welcome. Thanks so much for coming in and spending some time with me. Let's go ahead and see what the energy of the day has. These are beautiful cards with beautiful messages. So let's see what it would like to share. Simple acts of kindness. Kindness energizes you and brings happiness to those around you. Very nice. So noticing people including yourself, that needs some kindness. You know, something as simple as if you go to the store smiling at somebody, you don't know what that's going to do to their day. It might make their day much happier, much lighter. So just simple little things can make a huge difference in your life as well as others. So try to put some of that out today. Here, hope. Your loved ones in the spirit world know when to reach out if they see you're at a low point. Whether you're caught up in a difficult situation or struggling with someone specific in your life, there is always hope. And I can see where these two can be tied in together. Hope. Needing some upliftment and right here can be the very thing that helps this come into being mm -hmm. i know that's happened to me many times where i've gone to the store or restaurant just walking whatever the case may be and somebody has a kind word or a kind gesture like even opening the door you know Mm -hmm. But it could also be that today could be the time for you to share the kindness with another. Queen of Cups. Wonderful energy. This is a mother archetype. This is you being intuitive and helping just because you want to help because of the love that you have which would go in so well with those energies right there. Now here, this is saying that there was something that happened in the past that left you feeling a challenging emotion. It could be grief, stress, having doubts. You know, there is hope, right? Well, this is saying you need to let go of that. It's in the past. Let it go. You still have two full cups that are waiting for you to see them and give them the attention. Dropping the challenges. Okay? Using this beautiful energy here that's just filled with love to help you let go of the past. And this is actually letting it go. Now, in with this, it could just be a feeling of that 100-pound weight off your back, or there could be some healing that needs to be done. Either way, dropping it and allowing yourself to go into hope and receiving and giving the kindness is going to make a big difference. The bottom of the deck, you have strength. That is having strength to do this, but it's also filled with love and compassion. Okay? So let's see what else would like to come out for this. Okay, you have the Two of Pentacles. So this is like you're going through this balancing act or trying to figure it out, right? 
well, here is one side, here's the other side. Trying to create the balance in that. So that would say that you're trying to deal with this beautiful energy, knowing that this challenge did happen and trying to figure out how you balance that out or how you remove this to achieve this. Relax into this a little bit, okay? Try not to overthink it. Allow spirit to come in and help you with this to help you create that beautiful balance. Love, compassion, and strength. Yeah, okay, this comes right before this. So here is all the stress and worry to the point that it makes it hard to focus on anything but the stress and the worry. So it looks like something might have happened and it might not have been a huge thing, but you stressed over it you know, bounced it back and forth, stressed over it, and it got to the point where it was really too hard to do anything but be in this energy. And you do not want to be in this energy. It's not balanced at all. It will not serve you. But on the good side, here you're letting it go. And it could very well be because you are strong and compassionate and you have this beautiful help. This could be you, you know, seeing what's going on and creating the change, but it also could be somebody coming into your life that is helping you with this. And I think these two energies here speak volumes with these cards. Okay, this is saying you need to have patience with yourself when it comes to this. What you're doing is creating a huge shift out of this challenge and into this beautiful energy filled with hope and love. Have patience with yourself. You know, it's, it's like the garden that they use here as an example. You plant the seed of change. You nurture it. You spend time with it. And you watch it grow. And it ends up being this beautiful garden. Okay? And at the bottom of the deck, you have the moon. So in this case, your very first card and here your very last card, both are filled with intuition. And this can also say there might have been something that you're not seeing. But I think it's a been, not a current thing so much. But here's this challenging energy, which is surrounded by energies telling you how to go forward. Create the balance. Allow the love to come in and the help to come in. Drop that challenging energy. Have patience with yourself and others. Okay? And continually work on this because it's going to end up in something beautiful. More intuition and realize that, yeah, there's things you didn't see. You probably didn't see this beautiful energy when you're in this and this. It is hard, but so much is here to help you. It's going to end up being just fine. And here, I think are two very important aspects. One, do not lose hope. And if you did, regain that hope. And here, these small acts of kindness make a huge difference. And I said it earlier and I'll say it again. These acts of kindness are for you as well, not just others. Do small things for yourself to help you. Okay, let's see what the universe would like to share. Beautiful. You have the Ten of Cups. This is much happiness for you and those you truly care about. So by you creating this change within yourself, 
it is going to bring happiness for you, but also those that you love, which tells me that they have seen you go through a hard time and it hurts them too, okay? So it's creating this beautiful change. And if you look here, right, the suffering, the letting go of the suffering and the happiness coming in. Beautiful temperance, bringing in this wonderful balance and harmony that is gonna serve you so well, as well as the people you care about. You're creating that change. Five of Swords, yeah, the um, this and this, the challenge going on within you. You do come out the victor, but you have to get through that challenge. Have patience with yourself. And at the bottom of the deck here, you have the Empress. And interesting to note, your very first card and your very last card are both mother archetypes. So if there is a mother figure somewhere in your life that you trust, she would be the perfect person to go to to get help to create the change. And um, I said this in my last energy of the day, but I feel that about this as well. It's called the energy of the day. Maybe I should just change it. Energy of the time, something like that, because I don't feel like this is a, you know, one brief moment. I feel like this is something that takes time to work through. It took time to get here in this challenging energy, right? That didn't usually, those don't usually happen overnight, okay? They can, but they usually don't. It takes time right here, patience. Give yourself the time and work on this and it's going to be wonderful. There will be much happiness, harmony, balance, accomplishing the goal of getting out of those energies, putting an end to them. This is an energy like this of the mother archetype, but it's also happiness, joy, abundance, creativity. There is so much here and she's very powerful. So by you going through this process, you're going to end up creating such peace, happiness, and joy within your life. And you'll have your hope back. And I think this is important. These little simple acts of kindness for yourself and others will make a big difference. Let's see what the angels would like to share. So if you are going through these challenging times, give this a try. All it can do is have the possibility of benefiting you. <laughs> Yes, and if you look here, notice she's holding the sun and the moon. Take a look at that. Mm -hmm. By you creating the balance, and you also have balance here, it is a big yes for you. Okay. Let's close this out with some charms. Let's see what we come up with. Okay, well, let's start with this. Peace. By going through this, you will be bringing peace in your life. And to me, that is a major factor here. Here, you know, in the challenging energy, you're missing the peace. But by you going through this, you're creating the peace. Here you have wisdom. Yes, and by going through this, you will be creating wisdom. Wisdom is something that you want to keep with you. And kind of interestingly, we have three that have words. Friendship. This friendship could be coming in from the Empress 
or the Queen of Cups. It doesn't have to be. It could be anywhere. But friendship, I think, is important here. I think it will benefit you. Okay? Here you have a heart. It's going to be something that you love because you're going to be going from challenge into peace and happiness. And you have a beautiful key with a heart on it. And I'm sure this is saying by you creating this change, it's going to be long lasting and that you have the key. You're creating the wisdom. If you ever need it, it will be here for you. And one more. You have a purse. And purses hold important things. Oftentimes it's money, but it can be anything. So, now one thing I'm feeling about this in addition, because of the cards here, is that when a person has a purse, they usually keep it closed. People don't see inside the purse, right? So this could potentially be something that you have held on to, the challenging part, for some time. And now it could be time to, you know, uh, not literally, but open up that purse and if, you know, have the help if you need the help. Mm -hmm. No need to suffer in silence. So it's really a beautiful reading. I truly hope this helps. Thank you so much. Much love. Bye.